Good morning, cultists. In our last episode, Pluten the Great, usurper of Jerusalem, founder of the Janabid Empire, and most importantly, he who was crowned by Pope Gregarius V, shuffled off his mortal coil and is now banging hot ladies in paradise. Of course, he didn't die like some kind of peasant. Oh no. He died after he lost a game of chess to the Grim Reaper itself, a fitting end to an absolute legend. In any case, Pluten is succeeded by his son Maxwell, who's actually in a better position than his father was when he started, because if you recall, Pluten lost his ambition and became slothful, so I'd say Maxwell is ahead in that regard. Where he's falling short, however, is his facial hair. What's going on there? Does he have a mustache? Does he not? Or maybe he doesn't and he felt insecure so he decided to just draw one in or something? Either way, it's terrible. So let's get you a shave. And by shave, I mean somehow magically grow facial hair. Uh, That's... Hmm, familiar. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, I like that. Kind of nice and trim. Full beard. Okay, let's see what our other options are. Oh, no. We got like a weird fish lips thing going on. No. That's not bad either. But, um... What's the difference between that one and the other one that I looked at? You know what? I think I prefer this. It seems to contour to his chin and jawline a little bit better. Sure. Now you can carry on Pluten's legacy. And speaking of Pluten's legacy, there's some unfinished business that we must attend to. And that is the assassination of this man. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can get this guy killed and thereby nullify the Byzantine revolt. That way we can do a jihad for Anatolia undisturbed. Or at least that's the plan. We'll see what actually happens. And I'm hoping that we can get over 200% support on this. Got a lot of money, so I don't really mind spending that much. Sure, why not? Now, Pluten's wife, his first wife, is currently pregnant. I'm hoping that it's a boy. Um, whether or not it's a genius, I don't really care because what I really want is to replace Maxwell. Yeah, he's my heir, so I can't currently send him as a um, eunuch to China. But once I get a son, he'll be replaced, meaning that I should be able to send him away. Hopefully. Yeah, once we get some more grace. I guess I already have a trade contract, so it doesn't really matter? Hmm, maybe an invasion? Nah, that's like 5,000 grace, that's too much. I guess I can get one of these things. But speaking of China, though... They are currently attacking the Samanid for, um, to turn them into a tributary state. And once they take the Samanid, they'll of course border us. And they may even attack us. Now, I'm not actually that scared of a, um, China attacking us. What I'm scared of is losing our trade contract. Because I'm pretty sure once war is declared, either uh, from them or from our side, our trade contract becomes nullified. Meaning that the 2,000 grace that I've accrued to get this just goes out the window. So I think to make sure that our economy isn't left in the dust, we should try to get an imperial marriage with China. Since I can't get a peace deal, but with them being expansionist. That's going to cost me 1,000 grace. And I can't marry the imperial person myself. So I guess we're going to have to give it to um, Layla here. It'd be a waste to give it to Maxwell, obviously, so I'd say Layla's probably our best option. Yeah. Layla, hope you're okay with this. Hopefully it's a genius man to fit your genius. So we're awaiting the arrival of Prince Shankai. Sounds good. We also need to get a court physician though, so... Hmm. I guess in about a year we should be able to ask for one again, yeah? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Alright, so, um, in order for me to increase the fertility of my wives, I'm gonna need them to fall in love with me, and I think the private conversation is the best way to do it. Let me have a private conversation with this one, since my first wife is already pregnant. And I'm also gonna send you some money, just to increase our chances of getting this, uh, done successfully, I think. I could be wrong. And before we attack Byzant the Byzantine Empire, I'd like to deal with some of this, uh, vassal issue that we're having. Like, this guy here has the Duchy of Mosul and Jazira and Vaspura Khan, which is a part of Armenia. That's unacceptable. This guy is even worse. He's got Samara, Kurdistan, Tabriz, and a part of 
Keelan. Speaking of Keelan, what's happening with Coswin? What? You're defending against the Umayyads? What? As well as... Who's this? Where even are you? You're down there? Uh, wrong place, you idiot. Okay. So... The Umayyads... Wait, how are the Umayyads attacking you? Oh, I see. Okay. Wait, how did that happen? I don't... Huh? Huh? That's weird. Maybe it's some kind of, like, marriage thing. That might be it, actually. Alright, then, I don't want the Umayyads to have their territory here, so I'm just gonna... swoop in myself. You know what? Let's do a Holy War. That way I can get some piety out of this. Let's get you guys in there. Ah, the Umayyads are actually right there. Okay. Hmm... Let's make sure that we put our Organizer in there. Fantastic. And Maxwell. And this guy. Let's put the other Organizer. And then Akin, and last but not least, Samir. Alright. Hopefully we should be able to get there before the um, Umayyads do. Okay. Oh, what are you doing here? Il-Tabar's host? That is unacceptable behavior. Alright, once this guy leaves um, Baghdad, I'll get my troops raised and beat his uh, ass off. I'd say. Yeah. No raiding in my lands, buddy. I think he actually raided in my lands. All right, well, fine. We'll let that slide for now. But we're not. No, no, no. We're actually going to beat him off. Okay, um, now with this vassal, I should be able to revoke the Duchy of Jazeera. So let me do that now. Empress Shamim of the Janibid Empire accepted my invitation to meet in seclusion at the Royal Apartments in the Lighthouse of Alexandria. After some time talking... Wait, in Alexandria? Why would you need to go all the way there for a private conversation? What the hell? It's so far away. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's seduce her. Oh, he su um, succumbed or con capitulated. Sorry. Shamim returned my kiss and more. Afterwards, we talked for hours and I find myself fascinated by her jaded views on romance. Wait, what? <laughs> That's what made you fall in love with her? As we part, my heart is singing with her name and I cannot wait until I see her again. I must learn everything about her. Fantastic, I guess. Weird that we were fascinated by her jaded views on romance, but sure, why not? I guess it it takes all kinds. Uh, right, that's me. Can I revoke your other thing, though? I can, except I got no justification for it. Maybe... Oh, right, we're currently plotting to assassinate this guy. We'll deal with that first, and then we'll do the other stuff later. My half-sister, Princess Leia... Sorry, <laughs> Princess Layla has now married the Imperial Prince Mopei Shankai. The grand ceremony and the foreign prince will be the talk of the realm for many years to come. Ah, uh, not a genius. He's attractive though, so... You know, maybe you guys can pump out some attractive genius babies? We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so can I... Oh, he's attacking Bira. Hmm... This might be our way in. And he's also... I see. Well, well, well. Okay, okay. He's the leader of a plot. Um, What's the best way to... Do this? So, I can... Maybe ask him to peace out with Bira. And if he says no, then I have a just cause to revoke one of his titles. And then maybe I can try to imprison him next? You know what? Let's give that a try. Let's piss him off royally, and then we'll ask him to peace out with Bira. Hopefully he'll say no, to which I say, you must die. Alright, well, we'll see how that happens. Whoa, nice! Looks like the uh, Umayyads are helping me with the siege then. Fantastic. Ah, shit. Alright, not quite the uh, result that I was hoping for. Alright, um... Actually, let me revoke that uh, duchy from you. That'll be perfect. Yes. Great. And then I can try to imprison him, I guess, or... Let's see how the um, assassination attempt goes first. Fantastic. Dead as shit. Now I should be able to revoke your stuff. There we go. That's how we do it. And then hopefully he'll rebel, and that'll uh, let me revoke both of his stuff. 
that's all she wrote, I hope. You know what? Go ahead and siege that down. We'll get the assistance from the Abbasid, or Umayyads. Uh, not a genius gr uh, boy, which is not a boy at all, which is unfortunate, but um, whatever. I mean, I'm sure we'll have other chances to bang my wives and whatnot. And speaking of which, oh, it hasn't been six months yet. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, dear. Yeah, so we got our peace deal with China, right? Oh, thank goodness. Woo! <laughs> Sweet mammy jams. Mm, revoke the county of Sinjar. Let me actually deal with the stupid um, uh, crap here first, and then we'll go beat him off. Yeah, actually, I'll get my vassal troops raised. What? Oh, we have a Tengri vassal. Good grief! What the hell? That's bizarre. And my wife is pregnant. Fantastic. Speaking of which, can I maybe seduce my other wives? Not yet. Not yet, but hopefully soon. That's this guy dealt with, thank you. Now, how do I take that from the Umayyads? I guess maybe I should just try to tussle with them. Sure. In a sec, though. Oh. Oh, I see. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's throw him in the oubliette. Get out of here, punk ass bitch. Okay, we gotta fight the Umayyads before they bugger off, though. Okay, they've got about 6,000 dudes. We should be able to beat them off, I would say. Okay, and they're all meeting up in Baghdad. Oh, what the hell? Thought I gave that away. Alright, sir. I'm gonna try to take uh, Coswin. Thank you very much. Don't go anywhere. Let me get a victory on your sweet, sweet butt in the least sexual of ways. Alright, so that should be good. And let me also get this plot a going. We might as well, since we're going to have uh, our troops all around that area. War it is, bitch. War it is. Perfect. Is it? Maybe. Let's prioritize the attacking of the Umayyad troops, I would say. Yeah, since I don't want them to bugger off. I want to get this, um, victory in. Sorry, that scared me. Almost pissed my pants. Almost pissed your pants, too, viewer. Alright, uh, we... Oh, yeah, that, that was bad. <laughs> Good grief. It keeps sending people to die off in there. That was bad. Oops. I didn't think that they would get crushed so easily, but, oh well. They're actually retreating into Mosul, which is pretty funny. Because that is kind of where we need to go next, I guess. Uh, eight days until we can start salting that. My wife, you're beautiful as it is. And speaking of wives... There we go. Let's get this one seduced now. There. And... No, just do a stack wipe. Fantastic. My lord, Empress Dowager Rafika approaches me with, a, with clothes stained with dirt and fire in her eyes. Would you do me the honor of bestowing a nickname upon me, my lord? Um... Why does she have dirt on her clothes? She's my mother. I don't understand. Was she living on the streets? The dove? The burden? Or more important things to do? You know what? The dove seems nice. I mean, it's your mother. But... I'll name you the Festive. I guess that's a better name than the Dove? I don't know. I mean, if I were her, I'd prefer um, Dove over the Festive. Festive just seems like a... Hey! Oh no. Oh no. Um... Boba La Fula. There you go. <laughs> oh, I think I miss, missed, uh, misspelled it. Boba La... Boba La Fula. There you go. Okay, so now that um, we have a proper uh, heir, who will hopefully get replaced, we should be... Wait, what's going on? Is it because he's in prison? Alright, I guess we'll risk it. Oh, there we go. Fantastic, for 1300 uh, grace. Nice. And... We have to wait until when, exactly? September of this year. Oh, sorry, October of this year, my bad. 
Right, siege down Wasul. And let's actually siege down Sinjar, because that is the war goal. My brother will be missed, I say. It's not true at all. I won't miss him at all. Uh, let's have you guys take Kazwin. Sure. I don't think we need to send everyone and their dog over there, do we? Hopefully not. Because I kind of need you guys in uh, these places here. Mm, go up to Mosul, please. Yep, yep, I get it. Siege that down. Lester Brown. And... Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess we'll go get into a tussle with his troops. Sounds good to me. Do it up. Fantastic, and that is 100%. You're done, son. You're done. Mm, what happens if I imprison him? I'm assuming I can't actually... Huh. Okay, well, we'll just revoke it then. I don't want to risk um, not being able to revoke his uh, county of Mosul. That is the most important um, county, of course. Uh, Sinjar, let's give it to Sadadin. And that's great. So that's... Wait, is that all of it? Oh no, there's this. Ugh. Unacceptable, kid. Unacceptable. Yeah, you're going downtown. Dumb bastard. Alright, please see attack uh, Sinjar. And you've lost Mosul. You've lost everything. Dumb bastard. Right, Hussein, how about you take the county of Mosul, and once we get Nisbin, we'll give you the entire duchy. Alright. There you go. That's right, war it is, bitch. War it is. What? I'm over the supply limit? Unacceptable. I'm going to Nisbin. Actually, it's not any better there. Never mind. Just split the stack. That should be a little bit better. That's my... No. I'm good, thanks. I don't need to do anything with him. Okay, uh, let's try to get more troops in there, and you guys should be able to siege that down. Perfect. So, 32% with the Umayyads. I'm assuming we're just going to win the, um, what's it, uh, ticking war score. Because I don't think I'll be trekking my way over to the, um, to, what's it, the Iberian Peninsula just to win this stupid minor holding thing. No, nah, I'm good, thanks. I can just wait it out. I'm sure. Okay, so who's up next? So this guy's up next. Can I... Oh, he's backing a plot. Uh, it's maybe with these things, though. Um, Alright, then let's piss him off. And maybe we can get him to just capitulate. It's a shame that it's not just a straight-up yes to the revocation, though. That would definitely be preferable. Alright, well, let's go for the Sheikdom of Delam. Hope that that works out. Don't rebel. boy. Okay, so Delam. I noticed that this guy is Tangri. I'm just gonna check to see if Delam is also affected by the rampant Tangriism. Nope, Delam seems to be good. So let me give that away to someone decent, but not too amazing. Mm, like this guy, Sheban. Delam is yours. Of course, Gilan is the duchy capital of Gilan. So. Yeah, uh, see that down, and actually, I guess we ha haven't actually gotten into a tussle with his troops. There you go, you dumb bastard. And now, wait, he's got a mosque as well? Unbelievable. Alright, can I revoke his mosque? Nope. Unfortunate. Alright then, um, so Bira is the capital of Jazeera. So let me give that to... Ooh. Hmm... Hmm, it's always one or the other. It's never like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. That's life, I guess. Abdul. Uh, he's a little older than I'd like, but hopefully he can pump out some children before he bites the bucket. And Nizbin is going to be someone else's vassal, so I'll just install any old git, like Nizam or Nizbin. Perfect. All right, to you, sir, goes the Duchy of... Mosul, and Bira goes the Duchy of Jazeera, and last but not least, I will give you the entire Sultanate of Al Jazeera. Fantastic. So that's that settled. And this guy's still a maybe. Why are you still a maybe? Just give me all your shit. Dumb bastard. Alright, fine, maybe I should, um... Hmm. 
Let's try to revoke his uh, county there. Hope that that works out. Nope, he's rebelled against me. Okay, well that's unfortunate. Huh. That certainly does complicate things, I think. Not quite sure how we're going to revoke all of his shit now. Because he's buried underneath um, several duchies. And if I revoke his duchies, even though I have every jurisdiction and right to do so, it still counts as a revocation. So this could be a little complicated. What's going on here? Are you being attacked by someone? Are you? Is that what's going on? Oh, you're attacking him. You absolute moron. Okay, fine. Be stupid. See if I care. As long as it doesn't affect my ability to kick your ass, I guess we're good. And my wife is pregnant. You're my first wife, or wife, or wife right? Okay, well, let's see if I can um, bribe you and then make you fall in love with me. Seducer. Fantastic. So three out of the four wives have been seduced. Sweet. Just need to get the last one and we should have our full collection of wives who love me. Yasmin, let's have you go with... Diplomacy, I guess. Sure. And how's the child situation coming along? Hmm. One son and one daughter. I believe the son is an imbecile, right? Or is he slow? I forget. Okay, so once... Yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to Kazwin. I might as well. Otherwise, it'll just get bounced over to someone else. Or whatever. Siege that down. Thank you. Only 39%? Where are his troops? Oh, he's up there, of course. Right, right. Okay, well, fair enough. Rufy heresy. What the hell? Good grief, guys. Good grief. Also, can you please show your troops so I can beat you off? Ah, the Umayyads have appeared again. Okay. Uh, let me go kick your teeth in, Umayyads. Thank you. Should be a fairly easy fight, I'm thinking. Maxwell, you pompous brute. A shout carries through the desert where I'm fighting a close battle alongside my personal guards. In the distance, I see enemy reinforcements coming our way. Listen, I begin to my soldiers. Uh, let's go with Inspiring Leader, because Trixer is always iffy at best. Uh, sure. Ah, really? What the hell? Ugh. Where the hell did this ugly baby even come from? This campaign has been easy pickings. Swinging my scimitar through the desert is a pleasure, and my fellow soldiers are equally jovial, surrounded by the blood of our Bedouin enemies and the cries for battle. Look, enemy commander Kulun is hiding. Someone suddenly shouts, pointing off in the distance. Um, I could fight him. I'll do it. Kulun swings his mace cl clumsily. The fight has gone on forever, and my muscles are beginning to ache. With the remainder of my strength, I sink my scimitar into his chest. The man groans. Um, and it takes a while before my own heart stops pounding. Then he is still. Fantastic. What's going on here? Oh, that's you guys. I see. All right, let me finish this off, and I'm going to go tussle with your butt. That should give us some sweet, sweet war score, I'm hoping. Wait a minute. Where'd you go? Don't go there. Oh, the Umads again. Wow, they have not learned their lesson, have they? Good grief, you moron. There. Happy now? Jerk? Okay, let me give away Cosmin. Cosmin, I will grant to Aglab. There we go. And that's part of Gilan, so we'll have to attack this guy for it. That's fine. Maybe we can just do a straight up um, vassalization war or something. Can you not go there, please? Oh, what did I just tell you? Come on, dude. Not cool, bro. Not cool. All right. Hopefully that should be the rest of the 40% um, that I need for this war to end. Almost. 30%. Hey, nephew. Okay, okay. Aglab it is. Unfortunately, not a genius. So, a um, little disappointing, I gotta say. Wait a minute. What the fuck is this nonsense? Hey, dude. Not cool, man. Not cool. Oh, uh, What? Fucking hell, this guy. What an absolute asshole. Alright, I'm gonna revoke your Duchy of Tabriz. And your... Mm, I'm actually gonna leave him to hold on to that. 
Because that way I can just um, do a revocation war or something, or a plot. And I'll revoke your duchy there as well. Okay, so Tabriz, I'm going to need to revoke everything you got as well. Alright, buddy? Okay. Mm, can I maybe humiliate him? And then plot against him? Is that possible? No, it's not. I don't know why it's not possible for me to revoke or plot to revoke something from him. China, let me get a court physician from you. Okay. Pretty good. Mystic and a uh, renowned physician. Sounds good to me. Oh, come on with this nonsense. Fuck. Alright, now I'm like left with a whole bunch of duchies that I don't really want. I guess I could just destroy them. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Or would it? It might be. I don't know. Mm, maybe I can get him killed and then try to uh, fuck up um, his son's life too? That might be the way to do it. Yeah, because I can't really do any kind of plotting to provoke shit. Maybe a private conversation and then try to get him killed? His personal combat is not too great, so let's give it a try. And what does he say? He said no. What an asshole. Alright then, I guess we're just gonna need to get you assassinated then. Dumb punk. After I made another courtier cry, the third one in a short week, I felt a bit embarrassed. Is this really who I am? A cruel man who likes to hurt people? Mm, I'd rather be kind. Or, you know, nothing works too. Alright. I'm actually gonna dismiss my troops. So that we can take that little uh, temple there. And not have to worry about that. Alright, so I believe... Let me just revoke the rest of his shit and then I'll get to revoking the minor holdings and whatnot. Yeah, a little bit easier that way. Alright, you punk. Please tell me that you're plotting something. I can crush you. Alright, let me go ahead and revoke these counties or these minor holdings. Wait a minute. Oh, I see. That's why. Okay, I'll just ask you in a bit. This guy as well. Come on, bub. Come on, give it up. What? Are you still... Come on, man. Two days? Jeez. Okay, uh, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and declare war on him. There you go. Any more Tengri holdings? Two more? One more? There we go. That should be all she wrote. Okay, Tabriz and Maraga. Let's give Maraga to anyone, and Tabriz will give to someone who's a little bit more decent. And Azerbaijan is supposed to be the duchy capital of Azerbaijan, so we'll install someone uh, decent for that place as well. Okay. Azerbaijan shall be granted to... Huh. I guess Fadl? Fadl? Yeah. Wait. No, where'd he go? Oh, there you go. Battle, Azerbaijan, and we'll take Lori. Her court imam has been uh, discovered charging money for various religious favors, putting the gold in his own pocket. Okay, unfortunate, but uh, I'm just gonna let it slide, and our plan to assassinate the dude is now underway. And China is now tributizing more places. Holy crap, I got a lot of money. Alright, let's spend some of this money on, I'd say... Yeah, some of the uh, buildings here. Camel riding ground, training grounds. The more training grounds I have, the more I can uh, support retinue, so... I do tend to favor that. And I guess... Wow, some of these places weren't even like fully upgraded. Oh, speaking of hospitals though... Yeah, I don't think I built any uh, here. Oops, I should probably get on that. And Shiraz, there's already one there. I might actually, if I have the money, um, just build, uh, what's it, hospitals in the uh, counties adjacent to me as well. And I think that might help things out a little bit. Alright, so he's dead, meaning that his son is now in po uh, power. So we should be able to, uh, yeah, do some more fucking up of his old dynasty and all that crap. Actually, can we go with Lori? Yeah, yeah, we'll do Lori, because, ah, come on. Because we're going to be there anyways. Fantastic. Alright, bub. Hopefully he doesn't just capitulate. 
Direct leader. Um, no, I don't want you to uh, take control over something or nothing. So I'd rather not teach that down. Come on, go for the next one too. There you go. All right, you're done, son. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it went to him. Okay. I guess it kind of makes sense, ish. Fine. All right, vassal troops, or domain troops, rather. Gather around and let's crush this guy. And my wife is pregnant. Nice. So this one has not yet been seduced. Let's go ahead and, oh wait, we can't do it yet. All right, well, fine. Wow. See, that makes a huge difference when, uh... Wait, am I slothful? No. Uh, my first wife seems to be going through a particularly harsh pregnancy. Perhaps it would be... Uh, perhaps it would be best for her to retire for a few months from public life and think about uh, her health during this delicate period in her life. Okay, sure. Alright, well, let's end the episode off here for now. Before we go down this rabbit hole and uh, get stuck in vassal revocation mode. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow and... What? the hell? Okay, well, it doesn't really change our plans for the Jihad for Anatolia, I would say. Yeah, we're still fine. We should still be able to go ahead and do it. Either that or, oh no. I was thinking maybe we could do a Jihad for Italy instead, but um, yeah, definitely not. Alright, well, we'll do the Jihad for Anatolia in our next episode. Oh. What? Defending against it? Was it, like, a faction or something? Maybe. Eh, whatever. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!